Today I'm going to be spending 100 days in Minecraft as a Merling from the Origin SMP. Like all the others, Merling does have some positives and negatives. Um, and basically the positives are that, well, I can basically breathe underwater for as long as I like. The negatives are that I can't actually breathe above water. You know, j just a minor problem, but you know, we'll, we'll solve the issue. One thing I will say straight away is obviously I won't be able to make it to the nether because water isn't allowed in the nether. So I won't actually be able to kill the ender dragon. But I do have an idea so watch the end of the video to see that. So obviously the first thing that I did is uh, gather some wood. Um, I was very close uh, in terms of the amount of water that I had left. But I managed to just jump and I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. But yeah, so I really quickly realised how difficult this was going to be. Especially doing the stuff by village and out of water. So yeah, I thought I'll just gather some wood as quick as I can and then start exploring underwater. Now, I immediately made a crafting table. And then managed to make a wooden pickaxe. Got some stone and then got some iron. My main goal really throughout this first few days was to just have a little explore, see what I could find. I, I was brand new to this this mod and this specific character, so I thought I'll, I'll just have a little swim around, see what I can find. And yeah, that was the main goal really for the first few days. I did quickly realise that obviously being able to see underwater I had to have night vision, so I came up to the surface and I could find stuff really easily. So yeah, at the minute I'm just taking full advantage of that. And then I finally found a shipwreck. Managed to get some uh, emeralds, some iron, iron ingots and golden ingots which will be quite useful actually. And yeah, so I'd say that was a pretty successful start. This was actually quite a useful area because there obviously I, I found some good items. And then I come over here to the ruins and there's even more stuff. There's nothing too special, I'm pretty sure in this. Uh, yeah, le leather chest plate, a few more emeralds. Can't go wrong with a few emeralds really. And yeah, so now I find my first bit of gold. And I also find some coal, which I think, you know, I need to get as soon as possible really, because I'll end up forgetting it. I'll get the furnaces out and then realise that I can't actually smelt anything. So yeah, I've done that. Managed to get an iron pickaxe uh, and then started mining away at this gold. Yeah, it was a little bit buggy at times, as you, you'll see here with the gold, but it's really nothing that can be stopped. I mean, you, you have in this mod on Xbox, there's, there's always going to be a few little problems that are very minor. Now, this was a very monumental moment, as I uh, got my first few diamonds, which I was quite happy about. Honestly, underwater caves are so OP for stuff like gold and diamonds. I honestly recommend it if you are doing this mod and you are looking to be the Merling. Because honestly, the amount of gold and diamonds is just crazy. Now, I'm not going to lie. I actually have no idea what day this is. I don't even know if I've done 100 days, to be completely honest. But, you know, it's for the title. You have to do these things. But yeah, if you're still watching, thank you. Uh, and just enjoy the rest of the video. This is the first real close call that happens. With a, with a uh, trident zombie. Um, I start getting attacked by it and I underestimate the power of the of the trident So yeah, I, I start swimming away because although this isn't actually a hardcore world I still wanted to play the whole thing without dying Because I mean, I'm just amazing at this game. Let's, let, let's be honest now. I've already found diamonds I've completely forgot what day it is, but I, I'm just loving life right now. I once again asserted my dominance and killed this this poor trident zombie and you know it's per everything's fine everything is absolutely fine i didn't i didn't i didn't get a trident from it but everything's fine i then found some lapis which i knew would be good for enchantments and also some redstone uh, i saw that there was a mine shaft here and once again showing off my amazing abilities trying to get through this one by two gap i eventually do it though uh, and then very quickly realized that i didn't need to come in here at all and then leave I found another abandoned ship and I had a little look inside uh, there are actually two chests to this one so the, the first one had some books which would be very useful not too sure why I pick up the feathers it must have been a just you know in the moment thing uh, first of all I look at the treasure chest 
the treasure map and I just think you know what no I can't be bothered but then then I go back because I realise that I, I need to fill fill this video with some uh, some great content um, and what could be better than me swimming around trying to find some treasure and some dirt in Minecraft so I'll start heading off here start making my way over uh, it's actually not too far away it's probably the closest island uh, that it could have been so that's very helpful um, but uh, unfortunately I did realise that obviously this was going to be quite difficult considering I needed to I need to breathe underwater um, so I made a bucket very smart move right there by me I must say I, I, I'm quite quite a genius really but yeah so I managed to plop that in there then use that to go and get the treasure yeah got some decent stuff in there uh, and yeah, so now I'll move on to the ruins, pick up some more stuff from here, some more emeralds, you know, it, it's nice to get. Looking at it now, I probably, I don't think I did use it, but you know, it's nice to just have it there. And yeah, so now we will see, I'll see a massive ravine, so I think, you know what, let's go down it, and I find diamonds, which is very useful. So yeah, I, I get some of them, can soon start making some armour. For the video's sake, I'm just going to say we're on day 40 now. We're probably not, but I'm just going to say that. So yeah, there's even more diamonds here, which is just amazing. And now I start travelling through and realise that there's... I don't even know what it's called, I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's like a sea temple or something. But yeah, I find one of them and I think, you know what, I'm going to go. I originally was a bit hesitant, didn't really want to go, but I decided, you know what... I think now is the time. So I made some iron armour uh, and I set off. You know, I was a bit hesitant. I didn't want to dive right in, which I say being 100 blocks underwater. But uh, I just want to test the waters first. Uh, <coughs> no pun intended. Uh, and yeah, I started attacking these just to see, you know, how strong they were. I realised that, you know, I've got this. Everything is going to be alright. So I decide, you know what, now it's time to head in. But just before I do, I start getting attacked by dolphins. Didn't know that was a thing, but apparently there is. Uh, and yeah, so now I'm going to start heading in. Immediately as I enter, I, I go into the complete wrong room, which is a brilliant start. I then start making my way through. And you know, it, it, it's all going well. I find the first of the three things I have to kill in here. Again, don't know what they're called. Don't really care. But yeah, I've got to kill them. Uh, I, I was quite comfortable doing this. Until about now, yeah, when I take a lot of damage. I wasn't aware at the time that that means that they only have one more heart left. So I decided to uh, play it safe, aka be an idiot, and drink a regeneration potion to hit it once. I drank this, a complete waste, because I didn't take any more damage for the next 45 seconds. I then kill the, the last two. Get, get some wet sponges from them. I'm not sure what they're used for. I end up not using them at all. But you know. I picked them up anyway. Um, and, and then I left. So yeah. That was a very successful day. Managed to waste a regeneration potion. But at the end of the day. I got the job done. Done what I needed. Oh yeah. And here I, I start collecting some gold. I do a very awkward job of it. But eventually I do collect it all. So now I'm just going to sit here in silence whilst I break the rest of this gold. I managed to find a nether portal, then went over to the gold block, got that, and then basically left. I then came across another trident zombie, not like I've seen any at the minute, but yeah, there's another one. It's coming a bit of a daily occurrence at this point, uh, but yeah, get another one, and guess what? No trident. I finally managed to come across a village, started breaking the wheat, um, and then I used the water bucket, you know, just to, j just to help me live, you know, no big deal. But yeah, anyway, started breaking that, and that should do me for bread now, so I can have soggy bread. Yeah, until it's over basically. Um, I then started getting attacked while swimming 
Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I had no idea what was going on. Then look above me and I see they literally look like vultures. They really do, and it terrified me. So I panicked, I ran into the closest house I could find. There was no bed. Then I was really panicking. I finally find this one, kick the villager out of the bed, and then go to sleep. But that's not all. That is not all. I then wake up with the sudden realisation that I was dying. I then ran, try and find some water. Finally found it, jumped in, and that was a very, very eventful moment. Believe it or not, but I also had another mare. I completely forgot to get a bed, because I was too lazy to get one myself. Finally got one and had a look around. I found this really nice little area where I thought, you know what, maybe I could set up a place. You know, my, Mojang Minecraft, hold on, you've made a nice little area here. Start making a waterfall to see what I could do. Uh, I then quickly decided that, you know what, this is too much effort for me. I can't be dealing with this stress. I only have 100 days. Um, and I decided that I was going to leave. So, you know, I came over here, gave it one last goodbye, and then I dipped. I finally, after hours of searching, and I literally mean hours, I finally found a place where I wanted to set up. I, I dumped a bunch of stuff in my chest. I also found a zombie villager, put that in a boat, covered on top. But spoiler alert, he ends up dying. I don't know how. I went away and he died. Maybe he suffocated. Maybe he was killed by something else. I don't know what happened. Anyway, we come back to the temple. And I start mining the area. Trying to get some blocks to build my house. They, they keep floating up, which just irritates me beyond belief. But I end up, you know, clearing out a lot of the area. Took out some uh, lanterns as well. Spoiler alert, I didn't end up using them. But... Yeah, so here is whilst just starting to build the base and then I get distracted by a bunch of pillagers that decide, you know what, this is going to be fun. No, it won't be fun because I've killed you. Anyway, now I've started to uh, place some torches around so no mobs will show up. Spoiler alert, they did show up a lot. But yeah, so now I'm starting to build the base using the materials that I got earlier. It's, it's, it's starting to come together, you know. It's starting to look good until that happens. I just finished doing the outside of my base and then a creeper blows up. I don't even know how it got up there, but it did and it annoyed me. So I had to fill that back up, but don't worry, I solved the issue. I then started adding the final touches to the base. Uh, and yeah, just to make it look quite nice. Then below I thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to put an enchantment table. I needed some, some bookshelves, so I killed a few cows, managed to get that done found more diamonds I've got to say at this point you know I was getting I was making quite a lot of progress and then made full diamond armor and began enchanting everything I'm just going to take this opportunity to sell out for a minute please subscribe oh and also at this point it probably wasn't 100 days but I just said I can't be bothered with this anymore so what I did is I went into creative went to their end back into survival because obviously i couldn't do it i couldn't go to the nether so i thought you know what i'll have one final battle against the ender dragon as a merling to see if i could do it so enjoy i then began gathering apples to make golden apples and yeah i was really starting to prepare now i said my final goodbyes to my house because i was probably gonna die let's be completely honest but now cue the intense music as we are now in the end. I make my way over. I have to put some water on me obviously to regain. I knew straight away this was going to be very tough. Shoot my arrows. Probably missed. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I surprised myself. We'll never know. I then made my way back over. Managed to get under the water. And luckily the endermen, they just don't like water really. So I had that to protect me. I was still getting hit somehow. But I start whacking them with my diamond sword. And I managed to kill one of them. The other one comes after me again, but then he's like, nah, I, I, I can't be dealing with this. I don't blame him. And then all of a sudden, the Ender Dragon just storms across, destroys my water source. And at this point, I knew it was game over. I was panicking. I was trying to think of the best way to go out. This is what happens in, in these situations. I either go out of dignity and pride, or I jump off the void. In the end, I chose neither. Yes, that's right, I suffocated to death. 